Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my playthrough of Rule of Waves 3 as the United States. We remain at war with Germany and Spain, with continuous battles in the Caribbean. More to the point, the Dreadnought era has begun, and we're just about to design our first Dreadnought battleship. Oh, that's right, I have 50 million that I'm supposed to be using on a battleship. But... We don't have those yet. However, we're building a couple of battle cruisers, and I think that sort of secretly those count as battleships for the purposes of this request, maybe. So we might be all right. Oh, and we're building this battleship. Huh, I think that does count, actually. I don't think that the thing is smart enough to know the difference. Uh, let's see what Britain's finished here. Empress of India. Yeah, it's a classic wing turret dreadnought with 8 12-inch guns and 24 4-inch guns. Plus an 11.5-inch armor belt. I don't know. Can I design something just like it yet? Maybe. Let's see. If I want 21 knots, normal freeboard range, etc., 12-inch belt, 2 or 2.5-inch two deck... If I'm willing to settle for hmm, do I have oil firing yet? I do. Okay, yeah. Switching to oil firing then saves a little bit of weight, and it's just better. We only have torpedo defense one, right? Yeah, clearly. I mean, this is basically the battleship I'd like to build. Clearly, it's going to displace... Holy cow, why? Okay, it's going to displace 25,000 tons, which is too much. Um, now, maybe if I took away the aft superimposed turret and settled for this... Then it could be built on a much more reasonable 21,800 tons, but it will become outdated faster. Actually, no, this is dumb. Why would I... Is this really how the British built theirs, actually? They should have three centerline turrets plus the two wing turrets. This is just dumb. Hold on. What we can do, if that's what the first bad dreadnoughts are going to look like in this world, we can delete... Each of those, we can add back that aft superimposed turret. Double. And we can get six guns like this and build this battleship with this much armor and maybe some really good secondaries at, like... Nineteen thousand three hundred tons. And this absolutely has every bit as much firepower as what the British have just built. Okay, wow. You had a lot of tonnage to get a little bit of spare ammo there. 19,400 tons, huh? This is tempting. I mean, it's really not. It's like only a half dreadnought. It would get out obsolete pretty fast, but uh, can I put these in twin turrets? Am I allowed? No. Sadly not. Oh, and we don't have enough displacement to actually carry this many secondaries and tertiaries. Okay. I could build this like this. I could build this on 19,100 tons. That's going to make it pretty damn cheap for a battleship. Although it's still 71 million, but, uh, this is tempting. I'm going to order it designed. If we get 
four center line turrets by the time she's done, then I'll just call it a waste. The Spanish are going to keep declining every battle because we have a huge preponderance of force now. on docks now. That's uh, pretty good. As soon as we get four center line threats, we're just going to start pouring out dreadnoughts and battle cruisers and like nothing else armed with four center line turrets. Since they're still very dangerously close to war with Russia, but I'll try to avoid it, honestly. Three powers at once is probably a little much. Did Germany's fleet go here? Yes, they did. They outgun us in the Central Pacific now. Oh, we've achieved an intelligence coup and we can ambush a Spanish force in the Caribbean. No, oh, but we've only gotten two ships for it, or three ships for it. Eh. They don't have that many ships left. This could be pretty one-sided, in all honesty. We've got Memphis and Salt Lake City, which are both Memphis-class armored cruisers, and the destroyer Jenkins. And they've got whatever we're about to see over the horizon. It's the afternoon, so hopefully it doesn't run away too fast. It's a Konigsberg-class armored cruiser. If it's just one Konigsberg class armored cruiser, it's a pretty decent armored cruiser. It's got 8 inch guns, it's got 12 inch guns, but we will destroy it. Utterly. This can make 21 knots though, so if it runs like the last one, we're going to have real trouble catching it. Well, you know, it is now, but it left it a little late, because... Whoa. This went on a little longer than I thought it would... We're well inside firing range already. What the hell? They took out one of our turrets. Okay. I let that maneuver go on a little too long, but we're still in gun range, so not disastrous. We've just got to wait for a hit or two to be landed. Slow her down, hopefully. Just by letting us get into gun range, the ship is almost inevitably going to die. We have 12 8-inch guns between our ships to... wait. Oh, Christ, she's got reinforcements. We can probably blow those away, too, honestly. Whoa, and she just accelerated. I feel like, why are we so much further away now? She's doing 21 knots, so I think we have to keep the angle just right if we're going to keep up with her. There's three ships up there. I wonder if they're all destroyers. That would explain why she's refusing to turn her fight with them. Still, three destroyers could probably help save her life. With a, a f Even fainted torpedo attacks would really forced me to keep off of her a little. But I'm sure they're very fragile, so one or two good 8-inch shell hits. Hmm. Yeah, I get it. We keep seeing their destroyers and then losing them again, but... We're actually still taking more hits than we're landing here, but... Ah, oh, she's going to make it into this port. Yep, that's a shame. Yeah, bye. Okay, well, that was entirely indecisive then. If anything, yeah, I think she dealt more damage than she took during that chase. Oh well. Okay, we've completed the battleship New Mexico and a whole host of new destroyers. We've invented the plotting table for accuracy. And damage control training, so we can actually do that now. And we have better damage control. And torpedo aiming system for submarine reliability. And the Germans have scuttled the light cruiser Ariadne due to lack of fuel. I mean, the war is all, you know, it's winning, but... Uh... Oh god, the Naval Committee of Congress wants to have a look at the details of our design study for North Carolina? I'm sure your insightful comments will improve the design, Congress. 
they're going to ruin our battleship, but that's okay. Another Raider interception. We are well out to the south in the... I forget if these are the Leeward Islands or the Windward Islands or what, but they're... Uh, they're islands that are in one direction or the other of the wind. Which means we're pretty far from Puerto Rico and we're between them and Puerto Rico. And it's a Rune class armored cruiser. I mean, it's not a terrible armored cruiser, but it's clearly unwilling to fight us. Whether we'll actually catch them, I don't know, but we're going to try. We are closing very steadily. Okay, we're in range. Oh! We're in range, and it turns out it's a Freya-class armored cruiser. We had a misidentification before. Okay, well, that's both slower, which explains how we caught it, and much smaller and more fragile. I mean, the rune would be a better kill, but the Freya here is a more... Oops, he's guaranteed kill. This thing has no shot against us. Unless we get hit by a submerged torpedo or something, but that's pretty unlikely. They really suck at hitting anything that's moving. I'm surprised it's not already sinking, honestly, but... It's, yep, okay, that was very, very one-sided, obviously. We took 30 hits from her 5-inch guns, and we hit her 36 times, mostly with 8 or 6-inch shells. She is dead. Veneta there was a very small armored cruiser, but any armored cruiser is a worthwhile kill. Six more destroyers commissioned. The armored cruiser Stuttgart's been interned. The battleship Vestfallen's been interned. Hydraulic rammers developed for rate of fire. Rune has been interned due to lack of fuel. Man, the uh, Germans are really... Half the damn German fleet is interned or something now because of their sailing all around South America trying to figure out what they want to do. Hmm, we both have pretty similar fleets in the Central Pacific now, but... We don't really have anything clear-cut to fight over, exactly. I mean, I can't invade the Marshall Islands, they can't invade Hawaii, so... We're just sort of both protecting our positions there. Oh wow, I have an excess of funding now. With that pre-dreadnought completed, and then all of these, um... Those destroyers that we completed. How are we doing in terms of ships? Um... We're really not far behind in anything. I hate building things at this date without... Um, ...having four centerline turrets, but that might just be... ...you know, it's what we're going to have to just continue doing. Prince Dalbert in turn. They're really struggling with this at this point. Um, yeah, as long as the army can deliver victory... Okay, the army wants more resources to prepare for an offensive that will break through the front. Yeah, if they can deliver victory, we'll give them the resources. That being said, where is the army fighting them? We have no borders with them. But okay. Contra-rotating propellers for torpedoes. Explosive sweeps for ASW capabilities. They're raiding in the Central Pacific as well now, but it's pretty... One-sided. I mean, we're just waiting for the peace deal to proc, really. Um, I was already doing damage control, and I'm unclear on how that tech actually... Like, was it having no effect before? Uh, for torpedoes, that's an extra 50% range at 28 knots, or an extra 1,000 yards at, from 18 up to 20 knots. So, torpedo tech is... Incremental, but it's pretty aggressively improving, really. The Spanish still absolutely... Oh, wait. I lied. They're going to accept this one. 
I don't know why or what the difference was, but uh, looks to me like we still have enough ships to rip them to pieces. Um, we have three armored cruisers here, Memphis, Salt Lake City, and Charlotte, which are all Memphis class, plus three light cruisers, no, two light cruisers, but I don't really think... How many ships does Spain even have left? Well, they have... Well, they have four armored cruisers and one light cruiser. Honestly, I think this force of three and two that I have here could probably sink the whole remaining Spanish cruiser force. I do think it could. Unless they have a battleship that they've snuck in here somewhere. This is... They have no chance. There might be German ships helping them out. That would be the only thing. Even then... It's no wonder they've been declining our engagements, basically. Okay, that's two Vizcaya class, which is two out of the remaining three armored... No, they've got four. Yeah, two out of the remaining four armored cruisers. Vizcaya and Almorante Oquendo. Those are the two biggest out of their remaining armored cruisers. And they're not terrible. Six 8-inch guns, 12 5-inch guns, 10 2-inch guns. But ours each have 10 6-inch guns and 12 3-inch guns. Plus, slightly thicker armor. For bonus points, I think we might even be faster. Yeah, we're three knots faster, even. So, this is probably, you're just looking at the end of Spain's armored cruiser fleet here. As they've been dumb enough to pick a fight with... Our... Whole cruiser fleet, really. Um... We even have destroyer escorts and all. I don't know why they're right off the coast of Santiago, but uh, they're going to die for it. Memphis hit in the engine room. That's unfortunate, but uh, they're shooting back pretty effectively right at the start, but it's going to get one-sided real fast, I suspect, as we land more hits and the damage adds up. And it already is. Look at all those hits. Oof. 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 One of them is circling, one of them is broken off. We're just hammering the nearby one. Just three of us have just randomly decided to launch torpedoes at this one. Probably they'll all miss, but actually, um, those will all miss because submerged torpedoes are probably barely even worth the weight. But these destroyers, however, have a much better chance of getting an actual hit on a stationary target like this. Hit. Hit. Yeah, that one's dead. Okay. Oof. Spain, why did you attempt this, guys? I don't understand why they've been declining all the battles and then they accepted this one, because... This, what just happened here, is why they've been declining all the battles. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so we took uh, two... I can't even see the hits we took. We took two 8-inch hits to Salt Lake City. And well, we took 11 hits from 5 or 8-inch guns to Memphis, but still not that substantial damage-wise. And we just... 68 shells and three torpedoes into Almirante Oquendo... Uh, no torpedoes, but 83 shells into Vizcaya. They're dead. I mean, they're not just dead, they're flattened. It's totally one-sided suicide mission for the last uh, Spanish armored cruisers here. Mm, I'm not doing a negotiated peace without border rep changes. Peace negotiations derailed by Hawk Party. Excellent. TNT bursting charges for shell damage. Good, good. I thought that's what that said. We've been working on five plus centerline turrets and it's eluded us. Well, how about you just give me four centerline turrets first, eh? Okay. Congress only caused a slight delay to this, I guess. Okay. I'm going to compromise, and I'm just going to lay down one of these. I'm really hoping before I have to lay down any more that we'll manage to get four centerline turrets. Hasn't happened yet, but hopefully soon. 
light forces action. Okay. Oh. Okay. Spain's got an issue of the technical variety, apparently. Yeah, this is all destroyers. We have three of our destroyers and three Japanese destroyers, and we're right off Guantanamo Bay. And apparently they failed to actually deploy any... Okay, this battle literally broken from a game perspective. That's fine. Oh, hey, it's a victory for us. Yay. Oh, and the army actually won in their offensive. Where was their offensive? Directly across the Atlantic, I can only assume. Just, just marched into the sea towards Germany and Spain, and they actually pulled it off, so good for them. Stereoscopic rangefinder, more accuracy. Separate scouting force of armored cruisers and battle cruisers. Merchant cruiser interned. I mean, it's so the war is over, like, in all probability. Unless they can actually find a way to shove. I don't know where the Germans have sent their fleet now. They keep maneuvering. They, they can't decide whether they want to be in the Caribbean or the Central Pacific, because they just keep moving back and forth and getting interned down here, which is a little disappointing, really. But they're just... Even if they were here, I think we would have more than enough force to win a decisive battle with them at this point. It's just a shame we can't invade Puerto Rico, but this battle, or this whole war, is very one-sided at this point. Okay, Brooklyn, what have you found? Bit of a drizzle. There was a ship right up here, though. Yep. And it's way inside gun range already. If it's actually a light cruiser, this is going to be hilariously one-sided. Brooklyn is one of our San Diego-class cruisers, actually. The very latest and greatest with... Uh, it's actually not that much different than the Memphis class, but it's got an extra half-inch of armor and a couple extra tertiaries and so on. And newer and less broken engines. I don't even know what we're shooting at yet, but we're sure shooting at it pretty effectively already. It's a Navara-class light cruiser. It's actually a Chicago clone. Funnily enough, our Chicago's have had great success against even enemy armored cruisers in this war, but something tells me that this one is... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was fast. CL Navara-class turret F hit. Turret flash fire. Ship blows up. That's the end of that. We took zero damage. Landed 17 hits, the last of which an 8-inch shell at 4,300 yards, causing... Was that Navara, or what was the name of that ship? Yeah, causing Navara to instantly blow up. That was Spain's last light cruiser, by the way. Um, okay. The enemy sounded us all out about a negotiated peace with us gaining disputed border areas and some of their colonies. We should press for hard terms, but I'll accept a piece. Oh, god damn it! I was actually willing to take a piece now. <laughs> Derailed by Hawk Party. The Japanese have lost the destroyers Fubuki and Nokaze, and Shiokaze and Shimakaze, and have only managed to sink the destroyer Liniers, so they're really not having a good time in this war, even though we're winning decisively overall. Um, I really just want... All I want at this point out of this war is Puerto Rico, and maybe... One of these. If we could grab the Northern Marianas, even, or any of them, we could build them up into a big base for ourselves. And that would let us operate against the Russians and French and British in Southeast Asia. Or maybe one of these German ports in the South Pacific. One or the other, or both. But Puerto Rico and some more bases for power projection. Another raider interception. They're gonna surrender eventually, it's just a matter of waiting for the random event to occur. It won't be an unconditional surrender, of course, but they'll give up. Man, Louisville's been doing a lot of the... a lot of the heavy lifting on this, actually, but, uh... That's fine. Where is it? No, it's up there. Okay. Maximum speed. Cut across her bows. Let's go. What are we dealing with? It's not a battleship. 
probably. Guessing it's an armored cruiser. It's an armored cruiser. It's a Blucher class armored cruiser. It is a pretty small armored cruiser, truth be told. Louisville's a Memphis, right? No, it's a San Diego even. Yeah, we're going to destroy this thing. It might not be quite as one-sided as that last one, but we're going to destroy this thing. Unless we take some unfortunate engine room hits and get disabled, of course, but... Uh, It's bright and early in the morning, too. Barring some very bad luck, this should be a totally one-sided shootout. Just a matter of catching up, which we are slowly doing. I don't know why our invasion range is so short in the early dates. Like the, dev the devs do realize the United States invaded not just Puerto Rico, but actually invaded the Philippines in 1898, right? I mean... Okay, the invasion of the Philippines was basically just a naval squadron showing up and battering the Manila itself into submission because the Philippines were barely held down by any garrisons, but uh, they did invade Puerto Rico. So, okay, that was one-sided again. We took one hit, one 8-inch shell very early on. We then proceeded to just pulverize Blucher with 56 hits from our own ships. It's a little like bullying them at this point. They don't have anywhere near enough forces. First of all, they clearly have not refit most of their ships with central firing. And uh, they don't have gunnery training on. And they don't have anywhere near enough forces actually in the Caribbean to fight us on really even terms. This, what's happening right now, is exactly why I always build relatively big ships, even if I have less of them. Most of the time in the wars, when you get these sort of single ship actions, it's just going to lead to you picking off their numerical superiority one by one, until you're the one with more ships. Uh, we've developed anti-submarine nets, some more anti-submarine warfare capacity. Oh, Japan, well, okay. Japan drew a battle, because they sank an armored cruiser for uh, an armored cruiser, Danzig for Nachi. We are still thwarting a lot of attacks on our merchant shipping, so they're still around, but, like... I mean, Germany is down to... They've still got 11 armored cruisers and 4 light cruisers, but that's decisively less than what we've got now. Spain is down to... Oh, God, Spain. Spain has exactly... Okay, 4 battleships, 35 destroyers... And one single cruiser left in its fleet, the Reina Mercedes. That is just rough at this point. They are building, I see, a battle cruiser and or a battleship dreadnought and a battle cruiser. But it's a little that's not gonna be ready before the war's over. I why okay. What the hell? What happened to our did we get a faulty batch of condensers? Hmm. You know what? Sure. Let's foment revolution in Germany. Because I'm tired of them not surrendering. Hey, triple turrets. Um, well, you know, that opens up some weird possibilities, actually. We don't have such a budget that we need to worry about it quite yet, but, uh... That does offer up the possibility that if I wanted to take, say that brand new North Carolina class design, basically, and then use all triple turrets such that we had nine inch guns, or a nine guns instead of six. Uh, it doesn't look like we have quite enough weight capacity for that, but this is sort of the solution to not having, um, yeah. 
this is how we can solve. This is an alternative solution to not having four center line turrets. It's not as optimal because these extra, we have one less turret and one hit to a turret, one lucky hit to a turret could take out a lot of our firepower, but it would work for sure. In fact, I won't build any more North Carolinas because this design is clearly better. The two extra guns is worth a lot. I'd rather just have four center line turrets, though. All right. Another interception by Louisville. This will probably be the last battle of this episode. I do expect it will be probably pretty one-sided again. I hope this is Spain's last armored cruiser, honestly. I think it would give me a lot of joy to see Spain with zero cruisers left. It is Spain's last armored cruiser. <laughs> it's the Reina Mercedes of the Infanta Maria Teresa class. This is the only cruiser left in the entire Spanish fleet. And I mean, she's going to die. It's actually, on paper, these cruisers are not even that much worse than most of ours, but based on how bad their gunnery has been compared to ours, I pretty much guarantee that not only does it not have central firing, it might not even have a central rangefinder. We're just going to rip her to pieces. The number of hits were already landing without response. Spain is just too backwards to... Oh my god. Okay. Yep. So we took... Four hits to Louisville, that's actually more than I noticed. Two 8-inch hits even, but uh, we landed 38 hits. She sank. Apparently we wiped out her conning tower and both of her turrets in the process. And that's, uh, that's the end of Spain's last cruiser. And there's widespread demonstrations and serious disturbances in Germany. So hopefully... Well, either they'll collapse or they'll bloody well give up before they collapse, because this war is going to end sooner or later. In the meantime, though, Spain's last armored cruiser sinking should be a good place to leave off for now, so thanks everybody for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.